Zealand, our referee for this one. We get a chance to see what's in Sofia Gonzalez's boots early on. She's got a, a wonderful range of kicks. She'll get us underway, that left boot of hers. To get Argentina going. And the flare's already beginning in Montevideo from the Argentinian fans. Wherever they travel, in any corner of the world, Argentinian rugby is well supported and especially relatively close to home. So here come Argentina in those light blue and white shirts. Mexico in the red and taking players on around the ruck. That's the confidence of this Argentinian team. Offload is a good one. Slipped into Brigidor and she passes on. And, and the, the first, first try comes, comes oh so, so quickly. quickly. Virginia Brigido taking it on herself and dotting down for the first. Didn't need the support that was there in the end. Gonzalez. So good off her left foot. Argentina just competing in only their second ever Challenger Series. Only been going for four editions. Last competed in the 2022 Challenger in Santiago, where they finished in seventh position. So they've been on an upward curve for the last two years. And if you finish in the top four in Montevideo, then you're in the right kind of place to qualify for the grand final in Madrid and have a shot at qualifying for the World Series. Argentina wants to be joining their men's side at that competition. Wonderful things happening in uh, Argentinian men's sevens at the moment. Here come the women again. Asul Medina on the charge, taking no prisoners whatsoever in Mexico ranks, are they? A little tight, a little cramped. First thing goes the way of Mexico. there of the back of the head of head coach Nahul Garcia for Argentina. Here come Mexico. Nice uh, shape on the attacking line. Lacia Guerretes, however, putting pressure on, forced to turn here. And this is a foot race into Argentinian half. One well, though, by Escalante. And this is what she can offer, that footwork and fast feet out of trouble. Pedroso was, uh, was there to tidy up. Well, Mexico were very circumspect about what they're trying to get out of this competition here. In the build-up to the competition, uh, Alessandro Cordone, their uh, coach, was saying they're here to improve and to learn. We know we don't have a chance of winning this competition today, but getting a chance to face the likes of Argentina is what it's all about for them. And that scrum goes backwards, but they still keep the ball. Argentina now plunder it again over halfway. Now this is going to be a, a foot race straight to the line. Easily won. Asul Medina is charging forward and diving down. And Medina scores. Credits the pack for uh, starting this fire. But then didn't she uh, give it some oxygen here? I mean, the track back is no mean feat from... Denise Ortiz, Estefani Espin Dollar as well was uh, was covering the ground nicely. So far, standards being kept high by Argentina. Gonzalez keeps this just in front of the 22. Mexico plan their way out of trouble. On the left-hand side, no 
possibility to swing it right. Kick clatters into one of the Argentinian players. This is Maria Fernanda Cova from Mexico. She's done well. I have to go boot to ball. And there's uh, three Argentinians in the hunt here. A player from Mexico charging, it's Alessandra Benda. Argentina. Work this nicely. Wait for support. Comes in the form of Gonzalez. Now she heads upfield. Shows her footwork, Sofia Gonzalez rounding the last player and then putting on some speed. Looking behind. She knows. Oh, she knows she's home. Sofia Gonzalez gets her first of the weekend. All elegance and grace gliding across the turf. Knocks her own over nicely uh, set up. Only one place she was going to head from there. Argentina, three to the good. So that is Alessandro Cordone. Actually an Italian in charge of Mexico. He's been living in the country for 14 years. Exciting things happening in, in Mexican rugby, no doubt. Terry Burawa, the French sevens legend, is uh, in charge of their sevens program now. He's here with the men's side. So they've got ambitions to climb up the ranks. Argentina have been there years back. They were encountering the world stage and they uh, have steadily made their program stronger and stronger. And this women's team is, uh, is looking really good here. Early doors against Mexico. Montevideo is a welcome host for Argentinian players right now. Finished off nicely by the captain, Paula Pedrosa. Little hitch from the number four, and away she goes. Starts it, finishes it. Thank you very much. The exemplary first half from Las Yagaretes. It's the 8th of March today, of course, which uh, is International Women's Day and ahead of this tournament, World Rugby and the organizers of this challenger event were connecting rugby to the day through the vice president of Uruguay, no less, Beatriz Argimon. She welcomed the teams here in Montevideo on Wednesday and uh, in a speech, she highlighted the importance of women in the sport, playing, officiating and administering the global game and highlighted how important it is to rugby's overall advancement. So it's been a busy week for these players arriving Traveling as well, getting over that travel. Argentina have had a, a less of that given their proximity, but Mexico nonetheless took 24 hours to make their way down the Americas. Long stop over in Colombia. Even for uh, those on the continent, it, it hasn't necessarily been easy to get down here. Some sides like Thailand took 40 hours to make their way over here. But such is the quality of the competition. It's valuable time on the clock for teams to gain experience against the best teams at the challenger series level mexico gaining a lot in that second half in terms of experience but some of those experiences a little more full on than others and that one was in that category mexico penalty taken by to you Tovar, good hands, good hands. Excellent, excellent line, opens up for Mexico. Mexico. Here, Here comes Espindola, towering number 11, powers forward, 10 meters away. Here comes Rodriguez, the captain, passes on. 
Benda now. Lassia Guerretes on watch for this Mexico team at the start of the second half. Fernanda Tova dusts off Brigido. Disruption at the rocket might still be there for Mexico. Instead, Brigido brings it under her spell. And now the penalty comes for Argentina. Well, best opportunity for Mexico of the match so far. But once they were stung, this Argentinian team regathered nicely. Good whip from this, but Gonzalez wants to go herself. Here she comes, Sofia Gonzalez. The racing car in the back line for Argentina. And she will cruise in from here. So hard to stop when she keeps the ball in two hands like that. The star of this team and uh, so far a two try showing. Knocked over off the left peg. Sofia Gonzalez. She's in the category of number 10 of Argentinian stock, which goes back to Hugo Porter, Juan Martin Fernandez. They have something about them in open play. Sofia Gonzalez, exactly in the same vein. Fernanda Tova. Number four for Mexico. It's been a handful, actually, when she's got her hands on the ball. Christine Lovat makes sure this tap and go is taken from the five meter channel. There's so much room to play with for Argentina here. Little gap opening up back on the inside. Oh, it's a nicely worked play. Mayra Aguila dives in. Two pass. And over the try line. Mexico undone from the set piece. It was really sharp from Argentina. And this is dinked over for another two. Little play back on the inside. Really for the first time, uh, Argentina not having to work hard for that score. Mexico just giving them a bit of a gift. So back in Mexican hands, look at the tackle coming in, lined up. Maria Taladrid says, welcome to Montevideo. And then the Tova goes long with the kick here. No sweeper back. Escalante might fancy this. Marianella, little dummy, then goes herself over halfway. Good offload. From Escalante. Now the try scorer, Aguila. Nice close quarter work from Argentina. This. There's another offload there. And Aguila is in for a rapid fire second. Off the bench, Mayra Aguila. And over the try line twice. And this one involving a fair few more hands at work. Aguila with the final fend. Argentina ratcheting up the pace of this opening song of theirs. It's not just a good starting seven, it's a really good 12. The whole squad know how to up the ante when they need to. Putting Mexico under all sorts of pressure again. three-day format here in Montevideo replicates what we'll see at the Olympic Games in Paris. It is a, a tough old uh, emotional roller coaster and physically so hard. So often we see teams blitz the first two days and have a wobble on day three and the chances are over. Consistency required across three days of sevens is so hard to get right. 
Argentina got it right in Dubai in the desert at the start of January. Argentina retakes this from the lineup. Taladrid. Still with Gengini. Now there's an overlap as well. One last pass might do it if there's speed in the heels. And there is. Talia Rodic dives home on the left hand side. Runs in her first newspaper round of the weekend. Fifty up for Argentina, and an extra two to complete it. Rodic puts her arms in the air. She's off the mark, and Mexico sucked in before being knocked off out wide here. This was uh, smart hands. Escalante with the final draw and give. Natalia Rodic. So full time in Pool C and Argentina hit 50, 54 in all against Mexico. Coming up next is Belgium 